what, what drives people in my group is, is, is curiosity. So we can get very excited about the most fundamental problems. And, and for, for many people, uh, this would not really make immediate sense why you would study this. So it happened to us that we were studying something that nobody would have thought this would be biomedically relevant, but by chance, we discovered something that we think is highly relevant. So we, we were studying in yeast how densely packed chromatin is, is silencing genes. And, and a, a protein that is very important for that is called HP1. And, and this HP1 protein is, is highly conserved. So you, you find this also in human cells. So we were very intrigued by our findings about this protein in yeast, and we decided to study it in mouse embryonic stem cells. And the first thing we wanted to know is with what other proteins it interacts in a mouse cell. And there we made a, a very surprising uh, finding. So we found that this protein is very stably interacting with another two proteins. And one of the other two proteins is, is a transcription factor, the ADMP. This is a protein that can bind to DNA. Uh, and the very interesting thing about that protein is that it was found to be mutated uh, in a disease or in a syndrome that is called uh, Health Mortal van der Rohe, uh, which belongs to the autism spectrum uh, disorders. And, and we know now that this transcription factor guides the entire complex to specific sequences in, in, in the genome. And this has nothing to do with chromatin. So in a way, that was a big surprise. Nevertheless, uh, the protein complex is regulating the expression of genes. And that's something we have no clue yet how, how, how this would work. And that's why we are so excited about it. So there is, seems to be a new, a new mechanism how, how genes can be switched on or off. Uh, by this complex, and this is this is what's ongoing at the moment. We we found a possible explanation why children with health mortal thunder syndrome are suffering for so ma from so many different uh, problems. Um, when we remove the ADMP gene from mouse embryonic stem cells, we found that these cells started to differentiate sporadically into different cell types, and that's something you don't want to have happening in, in, in your body. These kids, they don't have a full uh, knockout of ADMP, so they have mutation. So that means that they still have uh, the gene, but the protein is no longer um, full length, so they are expressing a truncated form. And, and we think what's happening is that it's functioning, but, but not, not perfect. And this is uh, then finally leading to the disease, we think. So yeah, what I hope for my group in the future is that, that we can keep following our curiosity, uh, work on problems that may seem a bit crazy at this moment, but maybe this, this will lead to, to another very interesting uh, finding which will open up new uh, research avenues for us, as it has happened in the, in the past.